I am joined by the Hex right now, who uh, recently made your return to Impact Wrestling, but it's not exactly the return you would expect, because you guys uh, were known for your, your respective singles careers, or in the case of Marty, you were in a stable uh, one of the last times you were around, but now this is the Hex, going for gold, no surrender, completely different uh, plan this time around. How are you guys doing today? We are doing good. How are you? Good. Are you uh, I hope that was a good intro. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying my best. You're good. Uh, all right. Appreciate it. We we love we we love your best. All right. Uh, so you're going to be facing the Death Dolls at No Surrender. That's coming up uh, as we're recording. Uh, just a, a few more days. Uh, the Knockouts Tag Team Titles are on the line, uh, as I mentioned. Uh, the return was, uh, and I. I'm using return loosely, but uh, return was a surprise for many. Uh, you, you had James Mitchell introduce you. Uh, a lot of excitement coming off of that segment. Uh, what do you collectively want to do? Obviously, winning the titles is the goal, but what do you want to do this time around with Impact Wrestling? I mean, yeah, I, I know that it was a surprise to everyone to uh, pop up together, but, you know, we had a lot of success outside of Impact, um, leaving companies and then coming back as a team. So we thought, you know, why not do that everywhere? It's working for us. We're multi-time tag team champions in, in very distinct promotions. So it's working for us. And on top of, of course, winning the knockouts tag titles next week, I mean, what else we, we want to do everything. We always want to do everything. You want to not only win the knockout titles, but keep them. We want to dominate. We want to extinguish the competition in impact. I think, uh, I think both of us have, have had, as you mentioned, a lot of success at impact uh, individually, but why not, you know, two is always better than one. So why not, you know, like as Allison said, grab those titles, hold on to them dearly. And then, you know, I don't know, AK three time knockouts champion. That sounds good, right? I, I do like that. I do yeah, like that. You know what? There, there's just there, there's just so many possibilities. Um, and with both of us being there together, it just I think everyone's in danger. That kind of leads me into my next question. You you mentioned three times, uh, could be in the future, knockouts uh knockouts championship reign. Uh there's been so much talk over the past year or two about the forbidden door and, you know, all of these different things, but uh, there, there really feels like a, a really strong crossover with NWA and impact specifically uh, that really f like, it feels like it, it coexists with each other without being that sort of forbidden door label. And uh, Allison, you've worked with, Taya in Impact before. Uh, you actually defended your title uh, against her, I think it was like six years ago. And you recently worked with her on the live Power episode. So there's the one that comes to mind all the time with me is uh, when CM Punk and Raven worked together in TNA and Ring of Honor. And it was sort of coexisting at the same time, but it wasn't like, you know, oh, we have to keep these separate or oh, we have to you know they're just existing but now you're coming over getting to work with Taya in a different way with the you know the tag titles on the line so how do you feel about you know sort of carrying that aspect over not just that you're coming over as a tag team but you're you're getting to work with somebody you're you're very familiar with in the past as a singles competitor and you know as recently as what was it two weeks ago yeah, I think that it definitely helps when you're going into a situation like this with so much on the line and that you're familiar with it. Unfamiliar territory can be very intimidating, but I mean, the hex doesn't get intimidated very easily. So it's it's very, it's good for us that we do have a little bit experience with each one of these uh, women, actually, like Rosemary, for example, I know, I believe she is um, going to be ringside, I assume, for this match. And, you know, I won the knockouts championship for the second time against her. I had one of my favorite matches in Impact ever against Rosemary, which was the last knockout standing match that that happened after I uh, won the knockout championship from her. So it's definitely useful for us to have this experience and have a little bit of knowledge of them. But we also know that it's been a long time. 
So yes, I, I saw Taya a few weeks ago at NWA, but we really did not interact in that match at all on the, on the live episode of power. Um, so it's still been a long time since we've been in the ring together. And that is something that I have to take into consideration because I'm certainly not the same person that I was six years ago. And I don't expect them to be either. I can't remember the event, but I was there. I, I remember the title switch. I think it was Slammiversary 2017, if that sounds right. 2017 would have been uh, Rosemary and, and myself, yes. And then that, um, right after that, I think possibly the next week was the last knockout standing match. Okay. I was at... I was at the pay-per-view, so I remember it was the unification match. Yes, yes. Unifying yeah. the Global Force and the Knockouts Championship, yes. Okay, yeah. So there, there's quite a bit of history with you guys there, too. Uh, um, And then I, I did want to talk about, uh, Marty, your history in the company. The Dollhouse is sort of how you were really introduced. Uh, I know... Taryn did an interview not too long ago where she said that a reunion wouldn't happen. You've all collectively grown beyond that. And I think, you know, the hex has demonstrated you have your own thing going on. You've got something good going on, but uh, reflecting on that gimmick, like, do you feel like uh, people have more fond memories of it now? Do you think it's kind of the same? Because I don't ever remember. I, I feel like it was received the right way. I think it was popular. You know, it was, you know, a heel group with uh, Taryn, yourself and uh, Jade, who's Mia now. But do you feel like, you know, the reception's changed at all? Do you feel like people are more fond of it now that time's passed? Like, um, I I always have felt a lot of love from people about about that group, Um, you know, most importantly, we made a pretty good career, you know, in that time that we were at, at at Impact. With that, we got to travel all over the U.S. We got to go to the U.K. Um, as the dollhouse. We got to do a lot of really cool things. And so I still have a lot of people that come up to me that are like, that's how I was introduced to you. Because obviously Impact put us on a bigger platform. You know, people may have known us from the indies. But maybe people in the U.K., if you didn't follow Shimmer, maybe that's the only way that you would have been able to see us. But I think being on Impact put us on such a big platform that I have people all the time come up to us. This drives me crazy. I love it, but it makes me feel so old when people come up to me and they're like, I used to watch you when I was little. And I'm like, that is <laughs> offensive. Thank you. I'm not old. But it, it is it is crazy to look back on. I mean, it's been it's been a number of years. And to see people that are coming into the business or just fans in general, um, I still get so much love from from fans because of the dollhouse i love taryn i love mia i got a chance to work uh with taryn again at nwa and we had a lot of fun and obviously you know allison and i have both been in a lot of tag teams throughout our careers we have had so much fun and we have had such a great time working with them but i feel like now we have really really hit our stride because as allison mentioned we have evolved as people and as performers so the people the person that you are getting uh you know, on Friday is not the same person that you saw six years ago, you know, having her first time ever on television. Impact was my first ever TV contract. It was the first time that I was ever really on television. And I was scared. There were a lot of moments where I didn't know who I was, who I was trying to be. And now I'm like, what's up? Like, this is who we are. This is who the Hex is. And so I think that um, the Dollhouse made a really big mark on, on Impact Wrestling. And I think the Hex is going to make an even bigger mark. See what I did there? Hex marks the spot. I like it. <laughs> Staying on that note, uh, I usually close with a watch list, but I'll I think it's a good time to ask now. Uh talking about your personal growth. Is and you can answer whether it's a singles match or together collectively as the hex. Is there a match that stands out or maybe a few matches that you know really demonstrate that growth you're talking about? Whether it's impact fans getting a better look at you for the first time since you've been there or if it's maybe nwa fans or uh shimmer fans that have followed you the whole time is there one that you really feel like all right this is who i want to be in the ring or we want to be in the ring one that shows like this is what we want to be as a complete wrestler or tag team i think both of us are really proud of our empower match versus kylan king and red velvet 
Um, that was our fourth tag match ever, right? Fourth or fifth? I think fourth. That was our fourth ever tag match together. And um, well, one, obviously we walked out as the NWA World Women uh, Tag Team Champions, but also I think it really started to, to show people what we could do as a team. Um, I really enjoyed our, I feel like it's a lot of NWA matches. I really enjoyed our match against Pretty Empowered in St. Louis, the St. Louis um, street fight. I think people got to also see a really tough side um, out of us. And even though the outcome wasn't what we would have wanted, people just got to see how tough we we are. Um, our match in the UK uh, versus um, Real Riley and uh, Skylar. Skylar? Yes. Skylar Minton, right? Oh my gosh. Yes, Skylar, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, it is Sky. 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 Sorry, Sky. Um, that match uh, with Pro Wrestling Eve was also a really, really awesome. Like personally, for me, it was a very uh, special match. Uh, anything to add, Allison? I agree with that. My first thought was the Empower match. I feel like that's really where we showcase uh, what we can do as a tag team. We've had a lot of fun matches in, in NWA, especially as a tag team. I've had some fun singles there too. And those are available on YouTube, but the pay-per-views I don't believe are. Um, right. but I'm trying to... good and they'll put this, they'll clip them. Okay. Yeah, I would agree. I, I agree with everything Marty said. All right. Uh, so you kind of alluded to it. There's a lot of NWA stuff going on. There's a lot of accolades that you guys have accomplished there. Uh, this sort of new chapter starting in impact, but you're also still on NWA programming. I mentioned the the match on the, the live episode of power. Uh, Allison, you were with uh, Medusa when they announced the, the women's television title. So how to like, how are you balancing that? Can you talk about how that'll work out with both companies? Like, is anything? Well, Marty and I are free agents. So we are free to go wherever we want and pretty much do whatever we want. And that's kind of what we've been doing almost our entire career. So it's, exactly. it's not, yeah. I mean, we've, I feel like I've been an indie wrestler my entire career, even including my my first time at Impact because I was allowed to still do the indie. So I never left. I never left the indies. I've always had to balance all the promotions at once and my own schedule and be my own assistant, my own agent. Um, so it's not really, at, at this point, it's really muscle memory. It's not anything that I have to, um, it's not difficult to balance because we're free agents is really the long story short. And before you get to No Surrender, you have a singles match with Taya. So that's kind of where I was going with my earlier question. Uh, what can people expect from that match? Are you looking forward to showing maybe a preview? Is this, you know, what? This is definitely, this match with Taya next week is definitely going to be a sweet little prelude to no surrender it's going to be a singles match and um i definitely think that you are going to the fans are going to enjoy seeing two strong women literally collide we are very hard hitting we're very strong we're very tough and it's going to be a very difficult match for me but i've never i've never shied away from a difficult match and I know that she hasn't either. So I know I, I have my work cut out for me, but if the fans want to see two women beating the crap out of each other, this is the match to watch before No Surrender. There's my headline. <laughs> there there's the go. tagline for the match if Impact wants to put it on social media. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, in, in closing, uh, I, I was going to mention... Again, no surrender. The Death Dolls versus the Hex for the Impact Knockouts Tag Team Championship. Uh, I, I this feels like the start of something. Uh, it sounds like you're not just happy with tag team championships. It sounds like you want a third Knockouts Tag Team uh, Knockouts Championship run. Uh, what just saying, I've never held I've never held a title on Impact Wrestling, and you know the digital media championship is out there. I mean, I can be the I can I can add you know one in the knockouts uh, uh world tag uh, world championship. Kind of when the hex wants something, we don't just want a little piece; we want the whole pie. So, like I said, no one is safe, but 
that title that that Joe uh, uh, Joe Hendry has right now? I don't know. I, I, that would look great in one of our offices. The Knockout Championship. Everybody knows how much I love and respect Mickey James, but what better way to show someone how much you respect them than to beat the crap out of them? So I don't know. I'm just saying we really this the sky's the limit for what the hex can do. Well, that, that's kind of where I was going with it, Mick. With Mickey, like obviously, Allison, you want a third title reign. Marty, you want a first title reign. But how much would it mean to be the person that sort of knocks Mickey down, especially coming off of the the fanfare with the last rodeo and all of that? I mean, I think two two of us is better than one as well. So I think that we have the odds in our favor if we ever get to that point where we could challenge her for the title. All right. No surrender. First things first, knockouts, tag team titles, the Hex and the Death Dolls will meet. Thanks very much for your time today. Thank you for having us. Thank you.